Welcome everybody for another review of uh, the Captain Marvel movie uh, Mini Mates. This time we're doing Jan Rog and Phil Coulson. Um, yeah, another cool uh, two pack. Uh, we have Phil, which it's a, it's great to hear that he's back for um, you know another movie. They killed him off in uh, Avengers, and you know I I don't think they'll ever bring him back uh, post time. Uh, you know, post the first Avengers, spoiler alert, <laughs> he's, he's dead after the first Avengers. Um, but, uh, it's great to have him back. I really like Clark Gregg. I, I really appreciated his role in, uh, all the Avengers movies that he showed up in, uh, before the first one, you know, in, in Iron Man one and in two and, uh, you know, the other movies. So it's, it's great that he's back for Captain Marvel. And then you have Jan Rog, who is played by, um, God, what is that actor's name? That's uh, escaping me right now. But hey, either way, he's in the movie. I made the mistake of looking up his bio before shooting this video because I wanted more of a, uh, you know, uh, of a feel who the character is before I start shooting, uh, taking shots or talking about him. And I kind of regret it. I wouldn't look it up if I were you. Um, you know, if you've never heard of the, the character, everybody thought it was Captain Marvel, uh, Marvel, uh, the original Captain Marvel. It's not, um, it's Jan Rog, but, uh, I, I probably would avoid looking it up. Um, if you're not into spoilers and stuff. So I actually avoided most of the trailers just cause I'm, I, I kind of stopped watching anything after the first trailer. Cause I want to, I always want to get a look of what a movie's going to be like. But, um, as far as spoilers, uh, I just, I try not to watch trailers anymore after the first one. So I just, it saves so much. Uh, there's so many surprises, even sometimes casting surprises when I watch movies. So it's just, it's, it's uh, just something I do uh, nowadays. I used to watch everyone. Couldn't wait to watch a million times now. Uh, not so much, but um, anyways, back on the figures. Uh, we got these two here. Let's take them out and look at them in the tree. Yeah, so this is uh, probably the most heavily loaded uh, for accessories two pack that we, we've had so far. Uh, we have Coulson with his jacketless look, but, uh, and, and then that harness for his gun, holster for his gun, uh, between the two of them on the bottom. Uh, but then for uh, Jan, I got I'm gonna have a hard time remembering his name. Jan Rog, you know, we got the mask, we have uh, a gun, and he is wearing a holster with it. And, and I don't know what that other thing is. Maybe that's that must be some kind of force field punching um, effect or something like that. Uh, let's take it out and take a closer look. So here the two are, um, yeah, there's some nice looking mates. I mean, if you look at this character on the, on the left-hand side, uh, Jan Rog, he, his eyes, if you've seen the trailers, Jude Law's actor that I couldn't think of before, um, his eyes just got this cool glow to him, kind of a honey colored look. And they did a really good job with, uh, his face, um, just kind of giving him the same look as the character in the movie. And so then, yeah, like I said, he's got these gloves, uh, they hold uh, this energy effect, and I'm guessing it's kind of like a force field punch, you know, it'd be something that uh, maybe some kind of projectile or some kind of force field. I'm guessing that's what that's for. Um, a effect that we haven't had yet, that's great. Uh, I always appreciate that. Again, the Kree uh, costumes just got such a nice look to them, just so, so much detail to them. It's great. I, I, I just love it. And this Captain Marvel, excuse me, this uh, Kree soldier, uh, Jan Rog, has a holster for his gun, which is awesome. But the problem I'm running into is his gloves, um, the hand pieces on it are so wide, he has no way of holding his gun. He really has no way of holding his gun. Let's rotate it and, and take a closer look. Um, like, look at his hand, the gap between his hand for holding stuff. And then look at, at Coulson's hand. Man, there's a there's a pretty big difference between those two. And fortunately he he holds on to that effect, but he does not he, he can't hold his gun. It's just it's out of the question. It's just not gonna happen. Um so that's unfortunate. Um because it's a cool gun. And I, I if there's a so far if there's a mate that I'm gonna army build, it's him. Um because I'm guessing that energy effect is gonna maybe be for both hands. So I'm going to want a second one just for that. But then if you look at his secondary look, he's a um, Kree soldier. So, you know, if you look at a classic Kree soldier, they got that helmet, they got that suit. 
And it's just a simple matter of a head swap to get, you know, a different Kree soldier, maybe a blue head from uh, one of the Atlanteans or, um, you, you know, uh, what's his name from uh, uh, Guardians of the Galaxy 2, uh, Yondu, Mary Poppins, whatever. Uh, his head would make a good uh, blue, blue skin Kree uh, for, for a uh, Captain Marvel, uh, excuse me, a Kree soldier army builder. So I, I do plan on buying... Uh, more than another one of these anyways another one of these two packs but i think i'll let it sit let them sit at my store if they're there uh, for a while longer so other people can get them uh, and then there's phil um yeah he's got his two looks just kind of like uh you know agent fury and uh he's got his white um suit look and the cool thing with him is i don't know if my phone's gonna focus very good but uh man that tie sure is neat um, there's a lot of, uh, design on that. So that's kind of cool. Uh, it's something a little bit out of the ordinary. So when I end up with a secondary of the, this character, at least I got that to add to my civilian builders. Um, you know, and, in the look, um, uh, he just looks like a cool looking figure. So, um, yeah, not much else to say about him. Uh, great two pack. Love this Kree soldier, uh, Yon Rog, is that what it was? Yon Rog. So, um, anyways, I have a setup for him. Uh, it's a cockpit, um, you know, space flight kind of shot, and let's go to that. So here we are. This is going to be a simple uh, cockpit shot of uh, this, uh, you know, Cree, uh, Jan Rog, Cree soldier, whatever. Um, so, yeah, nice, uh, simple shot. It's going to be probably angled or something like that, like this. Um, just to give it a little bit of action uh, look to it. But um, pretty cool, uh, yeah, cockpit for a, a spaceship. We got some green wire because it's Cree. I did actually, uh, when I started setting up, I did actually have like a bunch of different colors, but it's Cree, so it just kind of makes sense that it's only green. Uh, and then a bunch of other accessories from the most random of places. That, that black um, computer on the wall that's digital, that's uh, Playmobil, so is that weird gray thing attached to the wall there. Um, and then the seat, I think, is from a Star Trek set or something. Um, this little Lego-looking thing back here is from Luke's Toy Store. This little, like, cylinder with a slant on it, that is off my, my, uh, sh I have a suction cup shower rack in my, in my shower, and this thing fell off it, and I didn't know what it was, and I just figured I could get some use out of it with Minnie Made pictures of some weird, you know, thing in the background and i've used it a bunch of times but that's like that's where it's from it's literally from the uh, you know <laughs> thing that hangs in my shower and then to add to some of the more randomness uh the cylinder in the back is actually the in interior of an inch and a half water meter uh, that's what i do for a living and that's where i pulled it out of is a inch and a half water meter um from who knows what what place but um that <laughs> that's what that is um yeah should make a pretty cool shot uh, once i start messing with the camera settings and everything um got a little bit of a uh, fluorescent light a black light in the back there to add some color to this picture and um yeah that's about it so we'll go to let's go to the last shot real quick so here's our second shot um this is my attempt at humor um <laughs> like uh, what's his face? Uh, Samuel L. Jackson, uh, Nick Fury's going around uh, assembling a team, and he walks in on uh, Phil Coulson putting on Captain America's mask uh, in the Shield warehouse. Um, <laughs> I just thought it'd be hilarious since he's so you know he's he's obsessed with with Captain America. Um, yeah, thought it'd be funny. Um, so that's pretty much what this shot's all about. Uh, yeah. That's just about it. So, yeah, no, that's it for this whole video. So, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, hit that like and subscribe button, um, and we'll see you at the next video. Oh, yeah, don't forget to check out my Instagram or Facebook. Uh, I'll post the links in the description of this video. Uh, otherwise, uh, thanks, everybody, for viewing. We'll see you at the next one.